Grade 5 Math, number 11.8, Estimate Cube Volume. We can use everyday objects to estimate the volume of a rectangular prism, or the volume of an empty box. So if you remember from our previous video, one cubic unit, or unit cube, is a cube that has the same measurement for its length, width, and height, whether it's inches, centimeters, feet, it's one foot long, one foot wide, and one foot high, you know, or one centimeter. It has, for all of those measures, for all of those dimensions, it has the same units, okay? If you had eight of them, you'd have eight cubic units. So we measure the space, the volume inside of something, and we find how many cubes fit in it. Emma is sending two dozen dictionaries to a needy school overseas, and she wants to make sure the box she chose is big enough. So she took one dictionary and laid it in front of the box. Now she noticed that she could fit two across perfectly, but that only one deep wide would fit. She estimated that she could fit five and five. So this five tall, two wide, and one deep, five times two times one is, she knows 10 will fit, see? She knows it's only gonna be able to fit 10 dictionaries in this box instead of the 24 she needs, she needs a bigger box. Well, if each dictionary is one inch thick, five inches wide, and eight inches long, how many cubic inches is each dictionary? You multiply each of the dimensions. One times five is five, times eight is 40. Each dictionary is 40 cubic inches. If she's got two dozen of them, a dozen is 12, she has 24, because 12 times 2 is 24. She needs to find a box that will hold a volume of 24 dictionaries that are 40 cubic inches each. 24 times 40, we multiply the zeros and get 0 and 0. Then we multiply the 4s, 4 times 4 is 16. You carry the 1 and put the 6 down. 4 times 2 is 8, with the 1 carried over is 9. She has 960 cubic inches. She needs to find a box that has that can hold a volume of 960 cubic inches, or a thousand would be better because then she could know for sure that she'd stick them all in there, right? And they would fit. Well, to estimate the total volume of several identical items, like these six boxes of tissue, what you do is you find the volume of one rounded to the nearest whole unit, and then you multiply it by the quantity. So if one of them is 125 centimeters for its for itself, by itself, and you need to find 6, you can round the 125 to 100 or to 150 and then multiply by 6, just to get an estimate. If you want the exact amount, you can multiply it by the exact amount, 125 times 6, okay? But to estimate, round it to the nearest whole unit. Well, if the volume of one item is 80 cubic inches, round it to 100, then multiply it by the quantity. If it's 225 cubic centimeters, round it to 200 or 250. If it's 750, you could round it to 800 and then multiply it by the quantity. So if you had, let's say, uh, four of them at 750 cubic inches, just round it to eight and multiply four times eight, see? Just to do mental math and estimate and do it quicker. So that's estimating cube volume. All you're doing is rounding it to a whole number and then multiplying it by the quantity, okay? That's all, no big deal, not that hard, all right? See you next video. Bye.